Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Tarot by Kathy McLeland. There's a website at the top here, kathymcleland.com. Feel free to freeze frame on that if you would like that spelling, so you can check out that website, of course, if you like. Supportive Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. The websites I have in the book are all Hay House websites. If I can get the page quickly enough. Maybe not. There we go. Feel free to freeze frame on that and check out any of those sites you want to. There's also a website in the back of the book, hayhouseradio.com, with Sandra's picture. Of course, freeze frame if you need to. What do we have for Aries? I don't usually... Okay. I don't know why we're using this deck as the main deck, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to have a lot of cards, which is not bad. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine. Um, is, okay. I'm, okay. <laughs> Something, is it done? Are you done? This is very peculiar. You got Deceit with the, the Death card at the bottom here. I think somebody pushed the button. Um, did they know it was ending? Something is definitely ending. You also get the World card here, and when both of them show up, it, something is ending. Um... I feel like your connection to somebody is ending. I feel like it's at that moment where I'm seeing the deceit. I think you're seeing it. Let me just double check that. I think you're seeing where somebody told you something or they did something and you're like, oh, that was bull. That wasn't, no, 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 that wasn't right. Uh, yeah, I think it's an end of a friendship, quite frankly. And it's time for this friendship to end. You don't like it. You got the judgment, but it, it came, literally came in right upside down in the dice. Like, the 20 is upside down. Um, the Three of Cups, is that number came in literally right upside down, too. I think it's the end of a friendship because I figured out something here. And I'm like, that's not going to that's not gonna fly. That We're not doing that. That's not. Nope. Nope. That's a no. How, how old is this? It's been going on for a while, I think. I think when I realize it, I feel like somebody told me what they wanted to tell me so that I wouldn't make a decision or so I wouldn't handle something or they played me. I feel like I, I feel like they played me. I thought they were a friend. I thought they were a good connection for me. And they played me. I feel I keep feeling like they played me and this is what's ending this. Because I don't know. I don't see you like freaking out about it. I feel like I've kind of had this little inkling... Like this little nudge. I, I feel like I've been worried or like... I've been concerned that this has been happening. So when I feel it coming forward and you're seeing what it is... I, I feel like I'm looking at it like, yeah, I kind of felt like something wasn't right here. Um, and now that I see the proof of it, I don't feel bad about walking away from it. Why, why were you putting up with this anyway? Why was Aries putting up with this if you really didn't feel... Like, I don't see you being completely surprised that this is what's going on. Why were you putting up with this? You felt you had to. This could be work-related, very easily work-related. Um, this person... I feel like this person is that type that, you know, they set themselves up. They set themselves up. That's what they do. And it, for some reason, you gave them a chance. You also were very careful with it, though. Like, you gave them a chance to prove that they were worth it, but you didn't, like, set yourself up to, like, fail miserably. So, like, you have the magician in the temple path on your side. Like, you gave them a chance to prove to you that they could be worth it, and they just proved that they weren't. You're like, no, I had a feeling this wasn't going to be right. And it proved, I was proved right, and I've been protecting myself the whole time anyway, so... I don't know. I'm not really upset. 
I keep getting that. Like, Ares really doesn't like liars. So, but, so I was like, I'm kind of floored that you're not, like... But I still get, like, well, I was kind of expecting it. I gave them a chance. I kind of felt like they weren't right. They're also, the, again, I keep getting... They're the type of person that sets themselves up. They, they're their own worst enemy. And they can't seem to fix that. I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't even know what to say. Some people are just like that. They're their own worst enemy. Nobody screws up their life like they screw up their life. Um... I don't know what to say. I'm getting here, I'm just watching, and I'm just like, the more I see it, the less interested I am in it. I also feel like there's nothing for me to say. I could point out the obvious, but for what? This person just does this to themselves. Apparently they can't help themselves. Apparently they can't. And I feel like I'm not going to waste the effort. Why would I waste the effort? I don't feel the point. I don't feel why I would. Um... You're also, okay, maybe this is why, because your energy is very calm. It's just like, I don't know, I, I expect Aries, like when they realize somebody's been pulling it, like lying, I expect Aries to like pop off and be like, oh, I've had it. But I'm not feeling that at all here. But now I'm seeing this these two cards come in together. I feel like you're very quiet, not quiet, I don't know, very calm, and you're just pointing all this stuff out to somebody else, and you're just showing them who this person really is. And I feel like you're just pointing out, like, you could either walk away and heal over time, or you could stick around with that person, and it's just, it's going to get worse. You think it's bad now, the longer you're there, the worse it's going to be. So it's bad enough now, how bad does it have to be before you walk away or you just want to burn with them? Like <laughs> You want to get buried with them. Is that what you want? What do you want to happen here? Um, I think this is why you're calm because it's almost like, yeah, I kind of thought that was screwed up anyway. But this is your opportunity to show it to somebody else, kind of like, listen, I like you. I think you deserve better. I'm just pointing this out so that maybe you walk away from that and stop doing this. Just walk away from this person. I don't think there has to be a fight. I'm not saying you have to fight. I'm just saying see it for what it is and just let it go. Let it just kind of disappear. It's kind of like holding on to a balloon. Let that balloon go. It'll float away on its own. Um, there's a warble for here, here for a minute. Like a warble. What is Like a warble. Like I don't know if this person's going to listen to me. I, don't, I feel like they don't want to let go. They don't understand. They don't want to believe this is as bad as it looks. They don't want to believe it's as bad as it looks. That's what it is. But I feel like how you're going to win them over is kind of like, do you really think you can make this person's life better? And is it making your life better by hanging out? Um, whatever this is, you're convincing somebody else to like at least take a break. Um, you're getting somebody to step back. And you're kind of like, at least take a break and let them fix their own mess. You're not helping them by, by fixing it for them. If the things are going to get better for them, they have to fix it themselves. And I feel like it's just flat out, like, it's just true. It's just not, it's not like, I'm not trying to get you to just leave them. I'm just kind of like, you're not going to fix their life. They have to fix it themselves if it's going to go better. If you fix it for them, they're going to, before you're done fixing that, they're going to be on to the next train wreck situation. We don't want that. It's not good for them or you. So I feel like you're convincing them to just step back and let them fix their own mess. When they do that, I feel like this person is not at all owning their situation and they're avoiding the, the person that you care about. They're avoiding them. That's weird. They just kind of like, they just kind of disappear. Kind of like, you know, they're pretending it's not something they did, but it's very obvious it is something they did. Um, so they got the three people. You got you, the Aries, the person you actually like, and then the, the liar. I'm going to call them the liar. I don't know. There's something up messed up with them. So the person you like, you're going to convince to pull back, just watch things, let this person, let the person who messed things up fix it themselves, and they're not. They're just going to ditch it, and they're just going to pretend like nothing's wrong. I feel like that's going to bother the person you like. They're not going to know what to do with it. They got like this block card, and they're not going to know what to do with it, so they're going to go off and do something else on their own. They're heading, they're following that, they're going through the door of value, and they're going towards something else that's more of what they want. That other person, the person who screwed things up, who doesn't want to own anything and wants to pretend like nothing's wrong, I feel like the one you like is just kind of like, all right, I'm just going to go, I'm going away from it. 
they're, dis they're disconnecting from it. I don't know what's going on. It feels a little bit complicated, so hopefully that makes sense, but it feels complica complicated to me. Because after they go off and do whatever they're doing, I feel like they're going numb to it as well. And then they're just like, it's kind of like they're taking a little break. They don't like what they they don't like what's going on over there. They just really don't want to deal with it. It's upsetting to them, so they go a little bit farther away, and then they just they're done. They just move on, and they don't. I feel like they don't look back, but I don't think they're dealing with it or addressing it. They're just at this point. I feel like they're just moving on. I don't feel like they're processing it though. So I don't know what to say about that. In this reading, from what I'm connecting to, it's not the point. They have to deal with things in their own time, in their own way. The fact that this connection is kind of going away is seeming to be the most important part here. Uh, it's weird because I got the thinking man, but I feel like they're they're taking their energy and they're thinking about something else. They found something else of value. That's what they're centering their thoughts on. Not the person that they can't fix. Not the person who makes their own trouble and then won't own it and then won't fix it. Uh, they're not thinking about that. They're thinking about something that's more positive for them. And they're just leaving it. They're just Whatever that is, they're just leaving it. For now, that seems to upgrade the situation. Hopefully later on, things can be dealt with. Um, but I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they're done. I do feel like they're done. What I'm more concerned about is like whoever the person is you like repeating this pattern with somebody else. Like, you know what I mean? We don't want to collect train wrecks. I mean, we don't, right? Not, I mean, that's I don't, it's rude that I use that term, but I do. Um, we don't want to... People who are their own worst enemy that cause problems and are infectious in a negative way to causing more problems for other people, we don't want to collect those people. We don't want a set of nightmares, do we? I mean, do we? So for now, this seems to be the best that it's going to be. That other person, the good person, the person you like, they are going to have to come to it on their own terms and their own time. I don't know. I, I, it's weird because I'm not like, I don't really like that outcome, but it's better. Is there something I'm missing? I'd like this to go better, but... Ace of Cups and... No, they're going to go to something that makes sense. They're going to follow what they, they're going to follow their heart to something that makes sense, something that makes them happy. They're not ready to deal with the, the, the disappointment of whatever this is. They're not ready to deal with this disappointment from the past of... Or, well, this person will be in the past, the person who screwed up. They're going to be in the past. They're not ready to deal with that disappointment. They're just literally not ready. So... It's just how it's playing out. Is there anything else I can say? I think that's it. It just I don't like it. I don't I don't like that like this person I don't like that. But <laughs> it's not about liking it, it's just how it has to play out. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Alright. Hopefully that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, uh, shoot me an email, James for at gmail.com. This is James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information that's below, same email. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.